Hey guys, and welcome to Versus KL. So I think I've come up with something crazy. I've come up with a way for you to generate articles in bulk using Claude and Perplexity. And the best part is that both tools are free and you can use them for free. So I'll just document the entire process and show it to you straight up. <laughs> so first you need to have your topics in mind, obviously. And you need to go to Perplexity. And me being me, I'm still using the, our docs example. So the prompt goes as follows. Generate SEO optimized outlines for the below articles using Roman letters 1 to 10. And these are the topics. Can docs eat bananas, long end, pizzas, nachos, mandarins, chocolates, oysters, cheese, bread, and watermelon. And we'll just click generate. And uh, the main reason I like to use perplexity for that is uh, that perplexity is connected to the web. So the outlines are going to be recent and optimized for the news, so to speak. So they are less likely to contain outdated information that is not present uh, in the SERPs. And as you can see, our articles are being generated. And I think that for the majority of informational articles, uh, 10 headings is more than enough. So for example, for the bananas, we have are bananas safe for dogs, nutritional benefits, how much, risks and precautions, best ways, banana-based treats and summary. Okay, and we are at number eight. And that's it. And this is the first step. Uh, the second step is to copy this information here and open a new Word document, like so. And we'll just copy without doing anything extra. I'll just delete this one here. And we'll call this document articles.x and we'll save it to the desktop. Then what we need to do is to go to Claude. Uh, we'll attach our articles.x document. And then we'll use this very simple prompt and you can uh, make it as robust, as eloquent, as detailed as possible. I'm just using this very simple prompt for the demonstration purposes. So execute the following steps. Step one, use markdown format in bolded words, one to list and a table to write a 2000 word article. For article one from articles.x. And then I'll just repeat until I go to the 10th article and that's it. And we'll see how it goes. So my ambition is to write 10 articles in a row. Uh, each of uh, them should be around 1000 word mark. And that is best suited for programmatic SEO. So they will not be your regular super detailed articles, but they're going to be perfect for programmatic SEO and test in different niches. Okay. And the best thing about Claude is that it's going to remember the outline. So let's just open the outline real quick. So again, for bananas, it was introduction, banana safe, nutritional benefits, how much, and we'll just follow along for the first article. So introduction, are bananas safe? nutritional benefits. So, so far it's following the outline to the T. How much bananas can dogs eat? Risks and precautions. Best ways to feed. And Claude will change the uh, naming of the titles. And I like it actually. So it will sometimes change it to something very similar, but it will always follow the logic of these headings. So the second last was banana based treats and the last one was the conclusion. So it's, uh, it wrote summary instead of conclusion and best ways to feed bananas to dogs. And we have banana-based treats, you know, banana-based treats and recipes for dogs. So Claude added the words, no, Claude actually used uh, this heading as is, but sometimes it will change the, uh, not the meaning, but the semantics of the heading. Okay, so the first article is done. I'm just curious um, about the word counts. Okay, almost thousand words, nice. So this is sufficient for those short informational articles and for programmatic SEO, as I said. And it's already started on the second article which is can dogs eat long end. Okay, so I think this was uh, a shorter article. This was 760 words. Okay, and let's just make sure Claude is following the outline. So for the long end article, we had uh, what is long end, are long end safe, uh, how much, the risks of feeding. So what is long end, are long end safe, uh, benefits, how much, risks, how to feed and summary how to feed and summary. So it's following along nicely. Article number three already. And actually I want to take note of the word counts. So the first article was almost 1000. The second is 760. What about the third one? The pizza one? 
Okay, the pizza one is 789. Okay, so now it stops. What we can do is continue from the last sentence. And with luck, Cloud is going to continue where we left where it left off. Yeah, and it did. So the article is going to be broken up, but that's okay. So this is the first part, and this is the second part. So it's 753 words. And what I'll do, I'll pause the recording until uh, all the articles are written down and generated, and I'll show you the final word count. So guys, everything is ready and complete. Let's uh, look at the word count. So the largest by far was the first article, almost 1,000 words. But the rest is either under 800 words or under 900 words. And let's just see how many times I had to restart this prompt. So we started all the way here with this um, giant prompt. And then we kept going and going and going. And I had to restart it here once. Twice. And in the end, I think three times. So I had to just say continue three times and it generated this many articles. So let's sum up, recollect what we've done. So first we went on perplexity and used this prompt for creating SEO optimized outlines for 10 articles. Then we pasted it back to Word document like so. Then we attached this docx file and ran uh, this massive prompt. And in the end, it took us, I think, 10 minutes uh, at most. And we've generated a lot of articles, uh, which again are perfect for programmatic SEO or for testing out the niches. And yeah, this is uh, the only way I think of the internet that I found uh, to generate in bulk using Cloud. And once again, you can use both Perplexity and Cloud for free. If you want to pay extra, they both cost 20 USD, so not a huge investment by any means. Hope you've learned something new today. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.